The B-330, previously known as the Nautilus Space Complex Module and BA-330, is an inflatable space habitat being privately developed by Bigelow Aerospace. The design was evolved from NASA's TransHab habitat concept. B-330 will have 330 cubic meters cu feet of internal volume, hence its numeric designation. The craft is intended to support zero-gravity research including scientific missions and manufacturing processes. Beyond its industrial and scientific purposes, however, it has potential as a destination for space tourism and a craft for missions destined for the Moon and Mars. Topic. Features Compared to their volume mass ratio, expandable modules offer more living space than traditional rigid modules. For example, the pressurized volume of a 23-ton B-330 module is 330 cubic meters, compared to 106 cubic meters of the 15-ton ISS Destiny module. Thus B-330 offers 210% more habitable space, with an increase in mass of only 33%. Bigelow also claims that the module provides radiation protection equivalent to, and ballistic protection superior to, the International Space Station. The exterior of the craft is intended to be 16.88 meters (55 feet) long by 6.7 meters (22 feet) in diameter, and the module will weigh at least 23,000 kilograms (50,000 pounds). The habitat is designed to have two solar arrays and two thermal radiator arrays for heat dissipation, as well as life support systems to sustain a crew of up to six astronauts. It will also have a zero-G toilet with solid and liquid waste collection, semi-private berths for each crew member, exercise equipment, a food storage and preparation station, lighting, and a personal hygiene station. The wall thickness will be approximately 0.46 meters 18 in when the module is fully expanded. The walls are made up of 24 to 36 layers for ballistic protection, thermal protection, radiation protection and will be as hard as concrete once the craft is fully expanded. The exterior will also feature four large windows coated with a UV protection film. Dual redundant control thruster systems are to be used, one using mono-propellant hydrazine and the other using gaseous hydrogen and gaseous oxygen. The latter system is refillable from the onboard environmental control system. Module-specific avionics will be provided for navigation, reboost, docking, and other on-orbit maneuvering. Bigelow Aerospace is developing the B-330 module to be compatible to mate with other spacecraft such as Russian Soyuz spacecraft, SpaceX's Dragon V-2, Boeing's CST-100 Starliner, and NASA's Orion spacecraft. The module's large size is particularly beneficial for lunar astronauts or the crews of other long-duration space missions, which until now have been restricted to fairly cramped quarters for the several-day flight. Topic. Technology While details on the purchased TransHab technology have not been published, NASA states the following about the structure of the module that Bigelow adopted as a starting point. With almost two dozen layers, TransHab's foot-thick inflatable shell is a marvel of innovative design. The layers are fashioned to break up particles of space debris and tiny meteorites that may hit the shell with a speed seven times as fast as a bullet. The outer layers protect multiple inner bladders, made of a material that holds in the module's air. 
The shell also provides insulation from temperatures in space that can range from plus 121 degrees Celsius plus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in sunlight to minus 128 degrees Celsius minus 200 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade. The key to the debris protection is successive layers of Nextel, a material commonly used as insulation under the hoods of many cars, spaced between several inches thick layers of open cell foam, similar to foam used for chair cushions on Earth. The Nextel and foam layers cause a particle to shatter as it hits, losing more and more of its energy as it penetrates deeper. Many layers into the shell is a layer of super-strong woven Kevlar that holds the module's shape. The air is held inside by three bladders of combotherm, material commonly used in the food packing industry. The innermost layer, forming the inside wall of the module, is Nomex cloth, a fireproof material that also protects the bladder from scuffs and scratches. Bigelow has described their technology to news media and have indicated that their proprietary technology inflatable shell, now in validation test in low Earth orbit in two subscale spacecraft, incorporates a layer of Vectron, along with the Kevlar, etc. of the NASA technology. History Its design is based on the cancelled NASA TransHab program. Bigelow gained access to TransHab engineers and workers, some of whom later went on to advise Bigelow's project. The module follows the launch of two demonstration modules successfully tested in Earth orbit Genesis I in 2006 and Genesis II in 2007. As of 2005, Bigelow Aerospace had plans to develop the CSS Skywalker, a space station based upon using B-330 modules to act as an orbital hotel. Plans in 2010 continued to call for construction of a space station, but without the CSS Skywalker moniker, with more usable volume than the existing International Space Station. Those plans included a complex of two smaller Sundancer modules, a combined node and propulsion module and one full-size B-330 in order to provide a total volume that was only somewhat less than that of the International Space Station, though built from fewer and larger individual modules. In early 2010, Bigelow selected Orbitech as the supplier for Environmental Control and Life Support Systems ECLSS, as of February 2010, an initial launch of the B-330 was slated to be no earlier than 2015, following a notional launch of the smaller Sundancer Habitat in 2014. In July 2010, Bigelow announced that a B-330 would be the sixth spacecraft component making up the notional Bigelow Commercial Space Station. The Sundancer development was later halted, with a decision to move directly from the Genesis series prototypes to the B-330. As of November 2013, Bigelow Aerospace indicated that the company has the financial capacity to produce at least two B-330 habitats, along with a couple of transit tugs and a docking node if Bigelow is able to secure commercial customers to pay for approximately half of the launch costs for these systems. In February 2014, some pricing and other lease details were made public. The B-330 lease rate will be $25 million for one-third of the station—110 cubic meters 3,900 cu feet—for a 60-day lease and a round-trip taxi seat to the B-330 in low Earth orbit Leo, on a SpaceX Dragon V-2 was projected to be $26.5 million per seat. 
At the time, Bigelow indicated that the habitat could be launch ready by 2017. Also in 2014, Bigelow announced notional designs for two enhanced B 330s, but has explicitly stated that it would need to secure an anchor customer to go forward with building and launching any systems beyond low Earth orbit. BLEO. B-330DS for deep space missions to Earth, Moon Lagrange points or for lunar orbital destinations. B-330MDS for use on the surface of the Moon or other inner solar system bodies. In April 2016, Bigelow signed an agreement with United Launch Alliance (ULA) to launch the first B-330 module in 2020 using an Atlas V rocket. In October 2017, Bigelow and ULA announced they are working together to launch a B-330 expandable module on ULA's Vulcan launch vehicle. After outfitting in Earth orbit, the B-330 will be boosted to low lunar orbit by two further Vulcan ACES launches by the end of 2022 to serve as a lunar depot. The first B-330 launch was originally planned to be launched aboard an Atlas V rocket, but ULA stated in October 2017 that its in-development Vulcan rocket was the only launch vehicle available with the performance and fairing capacity to carry the module. The timeline may be aspirational as ULA have indicated that the Vulcan will transition to using ACES upper stage around 2024. Topic. X Base In August 2016, Bigelow negotiated an agreement with NASA to develop a full sized ground prototype deep space habitation based on the B 330 under the second phase of Next Space Technologies for Exploration Partnerships. The module is called the Expandable Bigelow Advanced Station Enhancement X-Base, as Bigelow hopes to test the module by attaching it to the International Space Station. Topic. See also B-2100 Concept Bigelow Aerospace Bigelow Expandable Activity Module Genesis I Genesis II Sundancer, cancelled Transhab, concept, never built Notes